guys, it's Yira. So a lot of things have happened since the last time I checked in on YouTube. Um, and that's been like, what, three months? So I'll do a lot of updates for that. But for now, I wanted to share my experience with you guys on Generation Beauty because that's something I recently have been able to attend to. Uh, thank you so much for Ipsy for inviting me out to this as well. And I have a lot of stuff that I received from the event and I'll do a video on the VIP bag from Ipsy that I was able to receive as well. Basically, I just wanted to share with you guys on what had happened and kind of go through the footages that I was able to vlog about with. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to vlog as much as I wanted to because I was new to this whole thing and I was just enjoying it and taking the moment in as much as possible. Also, one of uh, two of the days I was not able to have my camera with me because I wasn't prepared. I also forgot my SD card, which was another fantastic move that I made. But I digress and I just want to go on about the cocktail party night. So initially, I didn't get the memo that it was gonna be a cocktail party event until the day of and I was already at work that day. Um, so I ended up going to the whole event in my work attire, which was just very casual. And I thought I would just have, I would just put on my Lita's. That's what, that, that was my only plan for the day was to go in this casual outfit, put on my Lita's to just elevate the outfit a bit. And I thought I would be golden, but turns out it was not a cocktail event and I wasn't gonna rush back home to grab like cocktail evening party dresses while I was at work. I was kind of the awkward turtle when I went to the event because I, I did kind of really feel out of place in the beginning because everyone was just like dressed up really, really pretty. And I was kind of just like, herp derp. <laughs> so for the Ipsy cocktail party, there was a line um, to get in and I thought I was going to be okay and I didn't have to wait in line, but turns out there was actually a line that wrapped around the Ipsy Open Studio um, location. So while I was in line, I met this girl named Karen and damn, she has really, really nice brows and she's consistent with it. You can see it on her Instagram page and follow her and all of that good stuff. But Karen, if you're watching this, you should do like eyebrow tutorials because girl, on point. So something unbelievable happened that night where I got to meet Adriana and the thing is we've known each other through YouTube for at least about four years or so and that's like how we just knew each other. It was through internet, social media and then we randomly kind of ran into each other on the day of that party. We both didn't know we were going to be going to the event. Um, we happened to just show up and find each other. So it was insane that that happened. I also got on to meet so many other people who were all very lovely people. Um, they also really elevated my whole experience. Because um, I'm not going to lie, I was very kind of out of place and awkward in the beginning and then I was trying to mingle with people, it was kind of hard and then later everything fell into place and everyone was like really welcoming so it was great. So another thing I experienced at the beauty creators party was that the whole numbers didn't matter because um, sometimes when you're doing YouTube you kind of get stuck with numbers because that's kind of in your face like everyone has their numbers like showing up um, their view numbers shown up, subscriber numbers shown up, and all of this. And that's how also brands contact you as well as that if you have a significant amount of numbers, then they like want to work with you, collaborate with you. So when you meet people through the internet, you know, you see those numbers and it's kind of there. You can't really just exactly ignore it. Um, but at the event, no one had their numbers up. No one had like, oh, I have this many subscribers unless you ask them, unless it comes up in the conversation. But initially, you're basically in a room full of people who share the same interests of being content creators and all have the same interests of, you know, makeup, beauty, fashion, and all of that stuff. So 
in that sense, it was very, very interesting because I've never been in that kind of environment before um, where I get to be in a room full of just creators and to be surrounded by people who understand the same struggles that you go through whether, whether it be like creativity block or whether it be the struggle of like creating stuff or coming up with idea and trying to make it into real life so that was also really really cool and then we also got to see Michelle Fawn and the other in-house FC stylist How's everyone feeling? Are you ready for this? Jen Beauty, all makeup brand and by the way, the FC OS it weighs as much as me. So definitely do a non-bagging video because I think everyone's going to want to watch it. And also it was interesting to hear this speech. I completely forgot his name, sorry about this. But um, he was one of the people part of Ipsy. Um, he, he made a speech on about how the numbers didn't really matter. And they're just it's just all about the accomplishments that you make. So. I really, I think the whole event really resonated with that speech. Ipsy Open Studios is not meant to be like, I have a million subscribers, 10,000. It's, it's really meant to be about a community. It's meant to be about how talented all you are, about creativity. But I did want to brag on your behalf because it's pretty amazing what together we've accomplished. So it really opened my eyes to what the community is really like in real life. Um, which was exciting to see actually. As for the cocktail party, I just got to hang out with a bunch of people, meet new people, hang out with new people, have a couple drinks, and just really have fun with the whole thing. And then there was the gift bags that Ipsy was handing out. Um, they were limited in stock, so not everyone was able to get them. Um, I think they only had about maybe 500 and there were more than 500 people who showed up so um i was actually like one of the lucky few who was able to get it so i will have a video up about that later on because oh so many things thank you michelle Fawn and ipsy thank you now as for the following day where gen beauty the whole convention or the event was actually starting i didn't get to get there early I kind of took my time. I was actually really tired from the week. So I, you know, set my alarm up really early. Didn't happen to wake up, just snoozed it for several hours. And then I finally arrived at the event maybe around 2 or 3 p.m. And that's actually when a lot of people showed up and it got really, really, really crowded apparently. Um, Cause I talked with other people who came in earlier in the day and they mentioned how they were able to mosey on and just take their time and just eh, have have leniency with their time. But um, by the time it was around 1 p.m., it got really busy and really packed. And a lot of uh, booths were running out of products. So you just you were only able to just talk with them, see what they're on about. And a lot of the times the lines were closed off as well because there would be fire security issues. So they would close the line off early and then open them up and then close it off open it and so it was like a hassle to like keep track of when they're gonna be opening when they're gonna be closing again um and they tell you like oh come back in like five minutes five minutes pass you come back they're closed because they just opened up people lined up and then they close it again so that was kind of stressful and so i don't have too many footages of that day because it started off so late and it was so packed and busy I couldn't do much. Also, I forgot my SD card that day, so it was it was infuriating. I really did not know what the event was about and what you do at the event. I just knew that brands are gonna be there and boots are gonna be there. That's all I knew. And then there's um, some popular YouTubers, YouTubers coming by. Luckily, I was able to get in touch with Sarah Kim and she, this is her second time going to Gen Beauty. So she knew what was up, she knew what to do, and Lord bless her because she helped me through the day and kind of helped me like get products from brands and, cause they give out like these deluxe samples um, for, uh, that's what these lines are basically for. You wait in line to get these deluxe samples. I'm with Sarah Logan Kidd. Hey! hey she's so bubbly! <laughs> 
check her out. Aw, oh, thanks. Yeah, I am at Sarah Logan Kim. One word, actually three separate words, Sarah with an H, because H's are not ew. The following day after that on Sunday, I learned my lesson, and I decided to go super early in the morning. I waited in line since 9.30 in the morning for an event that opens up at 11. And even then, some of the lines and the booths were already closed up by the time I like got in. And this was on our very rainy, windy day. Unusually rainy and windy day. So I'm here, it's really windy. It's not blowing anymore, but yeah, there you go. But luckily I was able to wear my Mooncats cashmere shawl and camel. And it kept me really, really warm. And a lot of people complimented on my outfit. So that was really nice. We made our way around things. So it was really fun. Had a good time. Got to have lovely conversations with a lot of people, including some of the people over working over at the booths. And it was just overall very like good experience. So that basically wraps up my first ever Gen Beauty experience. And I'm excited to, you know, go to more of these now on. And yeah, so I'll leave you guys with that. I will start having videos up soon. If you guys noticed, I moved. And I will have an update video on that. So I'll see you guys all soon. As usual, much love. Peace.